So recently I did my first adventure race, the Hustle on the Trestle. This was a virtual adventure race, and the reason I chose a virtual race as opposed to an in-person race for my first attempt is because I really had no idea what to expect, and this seemed like a good way to just kind of get an idea of if it's something I'd like to do more of. If you've never heard of adventure racing before, these races typically have multiple disciplines and require navigation skills, as the courses aren't marked. This race had trekking and biking, though many courses have trekking, biking, and paddling elements. Depending on the length of the race, there may be other elements as well, and racers may go back and forth between different disciplines. The reason the courses aren't marked is that the challenge of an adventure race is to use your navigation skills to find as many checkpoints as possible within the set amount of time. If you're someone who's familiar with adventure racing, I would be so appreciative if you left any race recommendations below. I'm looking for something on the east coast, it's a shorter course, something in like the 3-6 to six hour range, and has beginner friendly navigation. That's my biggest concern right now, is the navigation portion. After biking along the High Bridge Trail in Virginia for maybe 10 minutes, I got to the first checkpoint, which happened to be a time trial along a black diamond trail. I typically ride either green or blue trails, so I found this to be a very tiring way to start the day. The start and end point of this trail were at the same point, so you would assume it'd be like 50% uphill and 50% downhill. Somehow it felt like it was like 70 or 80% uphill. The part of adventure racing that I was most concerned about was the navigation. I feel fine following trails and stuff like that, but I'm not super confident using a mapping compass going off trail. I wasn't concerned with not being able to find my way back to the main trail, I was more so just concerned with being able to find the checkpoints. This is the first virtual event I've ever done, and I probably won't do any other virtual events. I just don't think they're really right for me. The reason being, I kept forgetting I was in a race and just wanted to explore the area. I ended up stopping multiple times to like look at wildlife and mushrooms. Here I stopped in the middle of a time trial to play with some little frogs. High Bridge Trail itself is a relatively flat and smooth long trail. There's not a lot of shade coverage, however, so it can get a bit hot when it's sunny out. This was pretty much my first time on a gravel ride. Usually if I'm on my bike, I'm mountain biking, and I didn't expect to get as sore as I did. I guess when I'm mountain biking, I'm usually standing up half the time, and that apparently helps a lot. My map and compass experience was kind of limited to YouTube videos, so this was a bit of a struggle. Looking at a map, I knew like I had to go north 0.1 miles from a certain point on the trail, but knowing when I reached that point was where I had the difficulty. Before the race, I looked at the maps that were given out and made a plan of how to get to the checkpoints, but I struggled to follow it because of having a hard time of knowing when to leave the trail. This race had three types of checkpoints you could get. Endurance points, which were the easiest and worth three points. Adventure points, which were worth four points. And pro points, which were worth five points. When I was planning my route beforehand, I had planned on trying to get most of the adventure points. However, I believe I only ended up finding one of the adventure points.
This was leg three, which was back on the bike. I had a plan which would take me through all the points I wanted to hit on this leg, but I think I turned too early onto the wrong trail. As I took that turn, I knew it might be wrong, but I also saw that I should hit a trail sign if I did in fact go the wrong way. I never ran into that trail sign, but I did manage to get back to the main road, and I'm pretty sure that it was on the wrong trail, so I'm not entirely sure what happened there. At the point when I got back to the main trail, I could have essentially restarted this and tried again, but I was tired and sore enough at this point that I decided against it and to just go with whatever points from that leg that I had managed to get so far. A huge part of adventure racing is the planning and strategy that goes into it, and I made some mistakes in that aspect, which is to be expected whenever you try something for the first time. My main one was my route planning, mainly due to the fact I assumed I would know where or when to go off trail, and my navigation skills just need some work. Another one was not expecting a gravel ride to cause more soreness than a mountain bike ride does. And finally was fueling. I had plenty of snacks with me and did an okay job of remembering to fuel for the first like hour and a half or so, but after that it was really hot and sunny out and I'm someone who just doesn't like to eat when they're hot. I did eat some more throughout the race, but probably not as much as I should have. There was a fourth leg to this race, however I decided not to complete it. There were no mandatory checkpoints, so I didn't feel obligated to complete it, and it was an in-town orienteering course, which isn't my preferred setting. I love exploring trails, but towns not as much. Looking back now, I feel I probably could have completed it and still finished in time, but I feel looking back it's easy to forget how one was actually feeling in that moment. Don't forget to leave any race recommendations down below if you have any. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to be always adventuring.